Hello there, my name is Ismos, and today we're going to be looking at uh, some of the most important uh, shortcuts in Blender 2.8. Uh, so yeah, let's dive in. Uh, let's start by going to edit mode. So I'll just add a cube here and uh, look at our first shortcut, which is tab. This is obviously something you should be knowing already. Uh, but uh, the shortcut we're going to be looking at is uh, the extrude by clicking uh, shortcut. So if I select a face, I say something like this, I can just uh, hold on control and then uh, right click and uh, to extrude uh, that face where I click. So you just hold on control and then extrude uh, something like this. So this doesn't re really look uh, that useful, uh, mostly in this instance as we're using it. But uh, if you say, if you're trying to say, uh, if you're creating something like a tree and uh, that can be very, very useful. So let, let me just show you first say, if I add a plane and uh, I'm going to be using uh, the skin modifier uh, to kind of give it the thickness, uh, but uh, I'll just delete uh, these vertices because I only want uh, something like one here. Let me just scale this down. Now, now this shortcut becomes very useful here. So if I hold on control, I can see I can right click and start making branches. So if I select this, I can also just extrude and another branch from there and another one from there and uh, maybe go to the side do it in different uh, perspectives and you can see how useful that can be and see what we are having uh, if I shade smooth here I uh, can also maybe another shortcut I can show you here is uh, if you're using uh, the skin modifier and uh, select something like a vertex here I uh, can just hold on ctrl a and scale that vertex. So if you try using S, it won't uh, scale the, the skin uh, that has been applied, but if you hold on Ctrl A and then uh, drag your mouse, you can see that uh, it is scroll, it is uh, scaling those vertices attached to that. I can also add on pr uh, proportional editing by clicking on this icon here, to turn that on, and uh, if I now Ctrl A, you can see I'm scaling uh, even the other vertices or skins uh, closer to that uh, that I'm scaling. So you can see how the branches are, you can, how you can make the branches smaller than uh, the rest of the, uh, the parts. Yeah, the shortcut for, uh, for this is uh, O, so you can turn on proportional editing or turn it off uh, like that, so you can see. And uh, usually what I do, because you can see when I'm scaling this Ctrl A, let's see, I'm also scaling other branch branches uh, but uh, if you just want to scale only this branch, you just turn on proportional editing, but make sure you have connected on. So this will make sure that uh, branches that are outside, uh, the that are not connected to this vertex, but are uh, still inside the uh, the uh, this fall of a sphere, uh, are not scaled as well. So yeah, that's a good shortcut. Uh, so let's go in and look at another shortcut. So I'm just going to add a terrace here, uh, then go to edit mode. So if you want to select a loop, uh, this loop here you can just hold on control sorry out and then double click on this loop or you can even yeah, just hold on out and then double click on this loop at hold to select uh, that edge loop you can also select another edge loop by holding down shift and then out to and then double click on that loop and select uh, that as well and that and that that so you can also select uh, rings like that just hold on just hold on out and then click on any edge and you should be able to select uh, the edge loop connected to that. Uh, so you can also select rings, uh, these here. I'm not sure if they're, I'm not sure if they're called rings, but uh, you can select them by using Control Alt and then clicking any of the rings. Control, just hold on Control, sorry, Control, make sure you don't have anything that's selected, but you just hold on Control and then Alt and then you select something like that. We also have the bevel tools. Also, if you want to switch between our faces, uh, edges, and then what says you just use the shortcut one, two, three on your keyboard. On your, not the numpad, but uh, the uh, one, two, three uh, keys above your uh, uh, letter keys. So yeah, you can select change between those uh, like that. Uh, so now there are, uh, uh, there is there are other uh, 
shortcuts we're going to look at. So let's look at the Bevo at all because I've, I've been asked a little about this when I do time lapses. I usually I use it a lot. So if you hold on, if you select an edge and hold on Control B, you can bevel that edge, and uh, you can also use your middle mouse wheel to add more segments uh, like that. But uh, uh, if you wanted to, uh, to bevel the entire ring, you just hold on Alt and then click on that, and then Control B to bevel that edge loop, and then you can also add as many rings as you uh, as you want by using your middle mouse wheel. Uh, you can also bevel a vertex, which is something I've found that uh, a lot of people don't really know about. Uh, but uh, if you go to the vertex mode and uh, select an edge, you can hold down sh Ctrl Shift and then B uh, to bevel that edge uh, into a diamond edge. If you use your middle mouse wheel, you can also increase or decrease the uh, segments in that edge. Uh, what I usually do when I bevel something like that, I also because the reason I usually do this is because I want to turn that area or that vertex into a circle. Uh, so what I usually do is use uh, the bevel, Control Shift B, uh, to bevel the edge, uh, add enough resolution as I want, and then I uh, go to the bevel settings here. If you add, if you bevel, Control Shift B, you will get this bevel settings usually minimized like this. You can expand it to get the options, and uh, if you play around with the profile. You can see how you you can t easily turn it into a circle like that it's usually not a perfect circle but so what i usually do is uh hit f uh this turns any of the selected vertices into a single end gun so if i select uh a bunch of faces here and hit f you can see it just turns them into a single end gun now if i turn this if as i turn this into a uh uh single end gun now i can use the shortcut control uh, shift alt s and then one am i doing this right yeah yeah shift alt s and then one to turn it into a full circle but because i have proportional editing on uh, it's also influencing the other vertices around so i'm just going to turn that off for a second let me make sure this is recording and then use that shortcut shift alt s to turn uh, the selected vertices into a perfect circle uh, so sometimes you see that uh if say <coughs> I have this selected, uh, by the way, to, to grow your selection, uh, to grow your selection, uh, you can just select a vertex and then hit Control plus to grow the selection like that, or Control minus to uh, to shrink the selection. Uh, this works for the uh, numpad plus and minus. It won't work for the uh, you, it won't work using the plus and minus. Uh, of the uh, num number number keys above your keyboard, uh, so make sure you're using the numpad keys to grow your to, to grow and shrink your uh, selection. Uh, if you use Control Plus, uh, using these uh, numpad numbers above your uh, letters, I will just zoom in and zoom out. So, uh, as I was saying, if I try to if I hit F from this, it will just convert that into a sphere. But uh, if I use shift alt s and then one it won't give me uh, the perfect uh circle uh, that i get uh, using this uh, so make sure that uh, if you want to turn this into if you want to turn a beveled edge uh, like this into a sphere uh, make sure you first use this profile uh, to make it nearly uh to get it closer to a sphere as you can before you hit f and then shift alt s and then one two to make it a perfect uh, circle yeah so uh that's uh, another shortcut for you so there's also another shortcut i can show you here if you use i you can insert uh the selection uh, something like that and uh, you can also select a ring of faces using alt and then clicking on an edge uh, it will select a ring of faces i can also use the same thing around here Okay, so let's look at uh, other uh, key shortcuts uh, that we can use here. So if you wanted to go into wireframe for this, you can hit uh, Shift Z and uh, it will take you into directly into wireframe. Uh, you can also hit back, toggle back in using Shift Z to go back to uh, solid view. You can also hit Z to bring back, just Z uh, to bring this menu here uh, that can let you toggle between different uh, shading modes. And uh, yeah, so you can also, also use, I think it's shift alt z uh, to to disable all overlays and uh, also do the same to bring them back shift alt z 
Uh, every shortcut here now has a button. So using Shift Alt Z is the equivalent of uh, turning on, uh, toggling this icon off and on. And using Shift Shift Z is just the equivalent of uh, turning uh, this, toggling uh, between these shaders here. I think the shortcut for this is Alt S. I think yeah, forgetting that. So we you have Shift Z for airframe and you have Alt Z for transparency. You can see that uh, we are now able to see through uh, the mesh. So let me just turn on random colors here so that we can see. Uh, it's not giving me random enough colors. You can see now we can see through uh, the shapes through the meshes here. So if I get, again use Alt Z, you can see now it's fully opaque. Yeah, so, so those are some of the key shortcuts. Let me see if I can find uh, more shortcuts that uh, in edit mode that I usually use. So let's see. Let's see. We... Yeah, so for the knife tool, you just hit K and uh, it should bring uh, that. I uh, also have control R to add a loop. And uh, again, when you, whenever you add a loop, you can use control B, sorry, use the mouse, middle mouse wheel to add more uh, vertices. You can also use Control One to add a quick subsurface uh, uh, subdivision modifier. Uh, Control Two will increase the subdivision to two. Control Three will give you a subdivision of four and uh, further on. And yeah, so those I think are the key shortcuts that uh, I usually use in Blender 2.81 uh, to make my editing and uh, yeah everything a little bit. Faster. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.